Hi YouTube, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you with morning chit chat. Good morning. And yes, I am smiling because this is a blessed day. This is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to say that till I get to work. <laughs> Woo. Let me tell you guys, it's going to be a day, you know. But I'm going to have to be like Jay Moss. I'm going to have a good day. <laughs> yes, I'm going to have to sing that all day. <laughs> Woo, I need to put him on blast. That's why I need my Jay Moss CD in. That's what I need because I'm going to have a good day. Today is going to be, it has the potential to be chaotic. I have three clinics and no nurse have not seen my manager not peek out of her in two days that I have been back and today I have three clinics going on with two of the slowest doctors you could ever have which that might work out to be a good thing and one that is so needy you got to hold his hand you know the other one he can function independently he can he can go he'll just need me to bring him his supplies but he really won't even need any supplies today unless he's giving injections or something so you know unless we have somebody that's using an injection I don't think we do um, but you know he can pretty much function on his own you know he's just slow because he's got to be thorough if I ever get sick, he's going to be my doctor. I'm going to wake up out of my coma and say, please call him. <laughs> then I'll go back. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. So it's going to be terrible. No, it's not going to be terrible. I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to speak positive. You have what the word of God says. We have what we say. So I'm speaking positivity. I'm going to have a good day. Everything's going to work out fine. I guess my manager's going to bring somebody over today. I don't know, because like I said, I have not heard from her in two days. So I'm not sure what she's doing or anything. She has not clued me into what she's planning or if she has a plan or if she's just a desperate woman hiding out. I don't know. So, um, I guess I'll find out today. I'm on my way this morning to Walmart before work. So I can see if the bakery's open so I can order this cake. So I can get this cake ordered. You know, I got too many things going on in my life. <laughs> I can't stretch myself up so thin. I, um, but I started this anniversary. And I said this, I think I said the same thing last year, if y'all remember my videos. Don't go back. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do it <laughs> this year either. But next year I'm not. I'm, I'm just going to sit. Because I didn't do I, I waited a long time. And none of them moved. So I'm like, okay. I got to do something for my pastor and his wife. You know, because they are good people. You know, they are very good people. And, you know, it, it's wrong of us to sit up under that ministry and not do something for them. To show them our appreciation. You know, so, um. That's why I went on and mentioned something and said something, you know, about us doing it. And that's why I'm so dedicated to doing it. So, um, so far, some things are coming together. His daughter, she's going to um, do some things. And one of his cousins is coming. And she offered to bring some things for the um, little reception afterwards. So, that's good. My biggest fear is that I hope these people donate the monies like they said they were. Because I want to be able to collect enough to actually send them somewhere. Or give them a nice gift, you know. Because, like I had told y'all before, our church is kind of small. I'm off on one thing to the next thing. <laughs> I know. Woo. Um, but anyway, our church is small. So, he doesn't really collect the salary. You know, sometimes we'll do a love offering on the first Sunday of the month for him and that's all he gets from the church you know like some pastors we know that have the bigger congregations um they're paid a salary but he is not and you know they're so given into the ministry you know so you know they take from their selves to give to the ministry so you know I just feel like this is something that we need to do you know so I'm pushing forward so whatever happens you know if I have to 
supplement was needed, I will most definitely do that because God will make a way, you know, for me. So that's what I'm believing. My lips look greasy or something. That gloss, I love it. It's my free Revlon. <laughs> Remember, we were rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Yes, we was. Mm, I need another good deal like that so I can get my mojo back. These penny deals are a good deal. I want some of those um, little pillow car things <laughs> that Dollar General got. And I seen some in a box in that store I was in, but they had it on the shelf real high. And y'all knew I was trying to reach as hard as I could to get that box. Now, don't you? <laughs> I was trying to get that box. I could not get that box because it was way up high. I am only five. Three, five, four at the most. Five, three. So I could not get that box. And I'm like, dang, I need my son <laughs> to be a culprit to pull down the whole box, okay? Um, but they were up high. So I'm going to try another store. Maybe they have theirs down low for shorties like me. But if not, you know me. If there's a male sales associate in there, I'm going to go say, can you help me get these out of this box? And then I'm going to be like, because they're $20. So if they don't ring up a penny, I'm going to be like, oh. <laughs> oh, God, they're going to be like, I know she did not get me to pull this down and then put it back. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Be like, Urko, you know I did that. <laughs> yes, I will. I did it yesterday. I walked right out of there. I had picked up some shirts. First of all, I had picked up some toys that had that tan mark on it, like some of the ones that um, I had saw her. So it wasn't the same toy, but it looked like the same color marking. And I had picked it up and it didn't ring up. I said, oh, that's not part of the yellow dot. <laughs> I know I have to ask God to forgive me because I know I knew it was and I was trying to get it for a penny. Yes, I I, I haven't. I'm, I'm like Steve Harvey. I have not got there yet. Okay. Yes, I did say it. I said, oh. I thought they were no I said oh I thought they were part of y'all she said no and she even went and looked at the sign because she didn't know the worker she said no it's just for the apparel I said okay so I had the two shirts up there that had the gray dots on them and sorry for the sun you guys and she rang it up that thing rang up $20 I said wait a minute this ain't part of it either she said no ma'am these have gray dots I said Oh, I said, I'm so sorry. I said, I just messed all my stuff up. I said, as long as I've been in this store, I ain't picked up nothing right. She said, that's all right. You're okay. I said, let me get out of this store. <laughs> I hightailed it out of there with my head tucked in between my legs. That was so embarrassing. I'm like, girl, you are embarrassing. Would you get it together? <laughs> Whoa. We will make a fool out of ourselves for a penny item. Gosh knows. You know, I'm thinking about them children. I was going to take them some good stuff for Christmas. Even though I said we said we weren't driving down anymore. Dick swear he's going to fly. And so we got to fly because he ain't going to drive. He ain't going to drive. His legs was killing him. Because I have the small Cadillac CTS. And it's small. And Derek is tall. So... He didn't like this ride in this car. And I told him, let's take his Tahoe. And he didn't want to take it. So, you know, we rode in the caddy. So, <laughs> but anyway, when my brother came back with us, and when I rode in the back seat, it was not comfortable because Derek seat all the way back because he needs it for his legs. And that's where my mama stuck me at. And she wouldn't move him behind that driver's seat because she knew the driver was going to be up some on the wheel. I said, she thinks she's smart. And then she's sitting over there. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, okay, Bird, I get it. I get it. You got us good, okay? You got us real good. Come on. Oh, my knee. I, I can't get my knee cramped up like that because I, I, I can't ride cramped up. I'm like, Okay, <laughs> just look out for your own old knees, okay? <laughs> Don't worry about ours. They can cramp up. Don't worry about them. <laughs> oh, my mama is a trip. I ain't lying. God knows she's a trip. But anyway, made it and made it back. Hips intact. <laughs> but anyway, I need to get in um, Walmart and order this. You guys, is there any... 
deals going on where there's an overage. I haven't heard anybody talk about any overage on anything lately or recently. I'm all in this thing all wrong. Sniffing through the parking lot. Yes, I'm cutting looms. No, I ain't supposed to be. Anyway, is there any good deals going on? Because I'm trying to get some overage on some things to help get some. Oh, that ain't me. I'm like, that better not be my break. And I just got break work done before I left from here. <laughs> Talk about flying back to get to that shop. But anyway, um, looking for some overage maybe deals so I can um, put in some party supplies and um, things that I need for the anniversary to try the decorations or something. Just let me know if anybody's got any good sales going on that you guys know about. Let me know at the bottom so I can go and check that stuff out. I'm trying to go as cheap as I can, but look as nice as I can. You know, you can go cheap and things be nice. So just let me know if y'all seen anything out and about that would make for good party decorations. I'm just going to really kind of decorate a table, um, the cake table, as well as the food table. And then um, at the altar, you know, we have this table that sits in front of the altar and I want to just decorate that um, for them. So um, I had an idea kind of. I wanted to kind of decorate the table. I wanted to put like their picture, like get an 8 by 10 of their picture up. And maybe put like some, you know, the little glass marbles. And maybe a real pretty candle decorated up by there. You know, kind of make it look like, you know. I want to make it like a shrine though. <laughs> oh my God. But anyway. I'm going to try to make it look anniversary type <laughs> and decorate the table with bows and things. So, um, just let me know if y'all seen anything out there, any decorations, anything. Anybody have marked down that y'all know of, let me know at the bottom. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.